welcome back to my channel. Was I yelling just then? That sounded very, very loud. But welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, I will be testing out some hacks for you guys that I've just seen circulating around Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, and I've, I've just always wondered, do these even work or are you just playing me? So without further ado, let's get on to testing these hacks. Okay, so hack number two involves a utensil. Spoon. So the idea is to place the spoon over your eyelid to create a cut crease. I've seen a couple of people do this. For some it looks really really good and for others it was just a total disaster. So we shall see whether it works on me. So let's try this. My lashes may be in the way, but this is so weird. I think this might actually work you guys. Ooh, that looks good. I probably should have had the spoon, you know, more towards the end of my eye. I totally see that working. That looks really good. The next hack involves a pair of scissors. I will be attempting to cut bangs. I first grab my bangs and then smooth it out and I'm going to measure where I want my bangs to be. From there, I'm going to twist it over. Then I'm going to grab my scissors and start to snip. Did you guys really think that I would cut my own bangs? No freaking way. I am still testing out the hack with this. Clearly this is not my color anymore. It was. This will have to do. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this literally on my head. So let's do this for real. I'm going to smooth this out and kind of measure where I want it to be. So right here, I'm going to twist it. So clearly, um, maybe if I try to straighten it. Did this work, you guys? Mom? I'm gonna show my mom. Mom? Yeah. You look so cute, the print. It looks good though, right? Yeah. Okay, so for the next hack, I'm gonna do the bearded braid where you start braiding under your chin um, all the way to the end and then flip it back and it's meant to look really pretty and mermaid-like. Okay, so I'm gonna grab two sections in the front. So I'm going to divide this into two and do a normal braid. I don't know how this is gonna work because um, I have layers. Yeah, this is a bit tight. But I'm gonna do this a couple of times and then I'm going to grab a piece from this side and add it to this piece and incorporate it into the braid. Then I'm gonna add another piece from this side and incorporate it into the braid as well. You guys, this is tiring. And I look like a tadpole. So I'm gonna tie the ends, and now we flip. Okay, so this is how it's not meant to look like, clearly. <laughs> but, um, okay, so now we tuck our hands in. You guys, <laughs> kinda tie. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Guys, <laughs> this is not gonna work. So, we're almost there. You guys, it's happening. It's happening. Are you ready? Oh. How does it look? Don't tell me. That does not look good. So this does not look cute. I think if I didn't have it so tight, it might have worked. I'm going to test out is another hair hack. Um, it's the wooden pencil with the hair straightener to create a nice curl. I know for sure that that super tight ringlet is not going to suit me. So I'm going to go for something a little thicker. I'm going to use the end of a makeup brush to see if we can create a really nice loose wave. So I'm just going to wrap it around like this. And I'm going to grab my straightener and start to press against the barrel. Wait, how am I supposed to do the end? My finger's there. You guys, I'm going to burn my finger just testing this hat. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, what did I tell you? Let's see. Ooh, that actually worked, you guys. It's really pretty as well. It's like a nice beachy wave. I guess if you don't happen to have a barrel, you could use this, but it's definitely going to be very time consuming and dangerous. But the whole point is to test out whether the hack works, and it clearly does. I think it looks very nice and pretty. 
The next hack that I'm going to test is how to fake a longer ponytail. I'm sure you guys have seen it where you have one ponytail on top of the other and it's meant to like create an illusion that you have just one really long ponytail. Um, so I'm going to first put my hair up in a regular ponytail. So there it is. My hair is pretty long so my ponytail isn't too short. So I'm going to make a part right here just above my ear and tie it up. Now I'm going to pop the bottom into a ponytail as well. So it definitely did create a longer ponytail, but I definitely see the separation there. Um, and I'm sure people around me would be able to tell that you have two ponytails. So that is the end of the hack testing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I had so much fun testing these out for you guys. Let me know down below what your favorite hacks were. And if you guys had any hacks that you wanted me to test out in the next video, then let me know down below as well. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. It will help me out so, so, so much. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Don't stop. How many times have I just said ponytail? Ponytail. Okay, so the next hack... Okay, so the next hack that I'm going to test is... Hi guys, so welcome back. Oh, that was a fail. I'm in your own day.